A swarm of large earthquakes struck off the east coast starting in the dead of night. Three of them were major shakes triggering tsunami warnings and evacuations in coastal areas. The first was off the coast of Gisborne at about half past two this morning. And then came the big one in the same area, and this one was 8.1. Mitch McCann has been in the north today. Up and down the east coast, Northlanders had taken to the hills. Hopeful this wouldn't be an impending disaster. Pretty high, Pretty high up in the hills of Rokaka currently. It's like arriving into a music festival. Yeah. Yeah, there's tsunami coming. We don't really care to be honest, we're just vibing. Yeah. We've got water. We've got water. We're currently experiencing the joys of outdoor plumbing. Water, vans. We've got. Um, now we're on the top of a hill with the whole school waiting for a wave. Cars lined the ridges while people got out to watch the water. These school kids left class assembling on this hill. That's great, you really want to teach this here. With sirens blaring, many pondered the worst case scenario. Oh, I didn't get to go to band practice, I've been looking forward to for it. Uh, now. Yeah. This has been an extraordinary morning for many New Zealanders up and down the country. Extraordinary and a rude awakening. The first shake came while most of the country slept at around 2.30am. So here tonight on Police 107, um, we have uh, some activity going on with a tsunami. Minimal waves for many hours. I've heard mixed reports. Auckland Harbour Bridge, water's gone. Hatia, water's gone. Apparently there's a 12 metre swell coming in. And um, it's coming through Bim Head now. We're all safe up here. We're hungry though. What do I think is going to happen? Uh, I don't think much is going to happen. I think we're having an enjoyable day up here in the sun and just chill out and enjoy the experience. Bugger it. <laughs> Pretty much what everyone else thought at that time. Well, for the last five or six hours, locals here in Northland have been gathering around some of these hills waiting to see if that tsunami is actually going to arrive. But in the last half an hour, civil defence has told them it's safe to go home. Go back and um, probably go to lunchtime and, and then once everyone's had a break, hop back into classes for normality and normal buses if we can. This evening, locals are back at home across the region. Thankful the worst-case scenario never came. A day, though, thousands here won't forget for a long time to come.